Well, we are now being joined by the special advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Public Communications, Remy Hassan, uh, who now joins us to bring us up to speed on the development. Good evening, Mr. Remy Hassan. Good evening, and thanks for having me. Glad to have you. Well, we hear that one person has been killed during the riot over the Naira scarcity. Can you confirm or refute this for us? That's not correct. Yes, someone pulled the trigger somehow in the middle of that melee and uh, someone was hit. And the person that was hit uh, was able to get timely medical attention. And as we speak, he's responding to treatment uh, in the Federal Medical uh, Center in Abelkuta. And from the preliminary uh, medical investigation, the pellets that were found on his body uh, do not belong to the police. We know the kind of uh, rifle that the Nigerian police use, and if it were to be that kind of bullet, probably we would have been having a suspicion along that line. So nobody died. Okay, so good news, nobody died. Uh, but it is worrisome that we are not sure who shot the gun. You said it's not the police. Some media houses have reported that it is the police. You're saying it's not the police. Uh, can we tell now where the gun shot came from or where the bullet came from? You know, when, when you have chaos, uh, uh, momentary as it may be, uh, hoodlums will take advantage of that kind of crisis situation uh, to further worsen an already bad uh, situation. I believe the police uh, is on top of the matter to get who actually pulled the trigger. And I'm sure in the shortest possible time, uh, they will put up their A game and get who that uh, particular criminal was. But that kind of pellet that was seen uh, on the victim uh, came from uh, the kind of gun we call the pump action, which the Nigerian police doesn't use. The Nigerian police uses more of AK-47. So to that extent, that's why we could say this at this point. But police will have to deepen their investigation to get more facts about who pulled the trigger and where that person got the gun from. Okay, well, this pulling of the trigger has certainly taken this protest to another dimension. So what is the situation in the state as we speak and what measures have been put in place to forestall further breakdown of law and order? Calmness has been restored. Peace is back. But of course, we will not shy away from the fact that uh, the scarcity of the new Nara note plus the uh, scarcity of PMS has made the whole place to become so tensed. Uh, the governor yesterday had a meeting with the management staff of the uh, Abekuta branch of the Central Bank of Nigeria. And assurances were gotten that beginning from next week, uh, a lot will have improved in terms of the supply of cash. And that much was communicated to the people of Ogun State through all the uh, media channels to let them understand that much as this is a federal policy and federal decision by an independent agency of government, we will not shy away from the responsibility of governance, which is that the leadership must show concern on the kind of hardship that people are going through. No doubt, this came at a very, very awkward time. Good policy or badly time. But at the same time, we only have to manage the situation so that it does not degenerate into the kind of crisis that will be beyond us. And so far, so good. What happened was spontaneous, isolated, but the police was able to at least cop. Remy Hassan, uh, we just lost that um, connection, but you, you've pretty much told us almost all we needed to know about the situation in Ogun State. Still and cop uh, the crisis from escalating into a dimension that couldn't be managed. So at this point, uh, system, I hope you can hear me now. I can hear you, but we're not seeing you. We, we seem to be very good. Please go on. Let's wrap up. Okay. I'm trying to say that everyone who's a stakeholder in ensuring that this situation is restored into 
a sane situation uh, is being brought uh, to the fore uh, and everyone is being discussed with. And I'm sure that, uh, like the governor has made uh, the right move, this will be restored within the shortest possible time. It's just unfortunate that the bulk of what will restore the whole sanity is not in the hand of the state government. But at the same time, we are interfacing with every agency and every stakeholder who will help bring sanity into the whole system. Well, thank you so much, Remy Hassan, Special Advisor to the Ogun State Governor on Public Communications. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.